All right, guys, just got a call for a uh, walk-in cooler that is at uh, 50 something degrees. Um, I'm gonna make a video because this location has a very strict NTE, um, the not to exceed. We only have $800 and we have been instructed that if we're gonna go a penny over, we absolutely must leave the site immediately. They will not pay a penny over their NTE, so let's go see what we can find and uh, see if I'm not ran off by this uh, imaginary numerical number that allows us to not work past $800. Fans are running, everything is cool, but not cold. All right guys, so all of the evaporator fans are running. I don't know if you can hear this, but all these are hissing right now. Probably indicates a low charge. I think we're gonna have two condensing units, so that's a suction and liquid. Uh, liquid right there tees off into that evaporator and then into this evaporator. Um, they have some sort of uh, smart controllers in there. I'm not familiar with the Heatcraft ones, but I'm pretty sure we can figure it out. And then this one looks like it has one liquid line, one suction, and it tees off right there. So we're going to have two evaporators. Uh, more than likely we're gonna have a charge issue I can already hear these uh, hissing so I'm I'm not gonna check alarms and all that right now I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to the condensing units I don't know why I just feel like my problems up there so let's go upstairs first two evaporators condensing unit number two second set of evaporators and I gotta crawl all the way from that end oh these suck uh so let's check this one first uh neither of them are on so uh let's go ahead and start with the basics all right guys uh i wish i would have caught this on camera but all i did was i came in here before i did anything i um let me move this out the way so before I did anything, I just wanted to make sure that the contactor was pulled in. And sure enough, the contactor was pulled in. I had, move this over here. So I had 247. And then I went on this side and I had exactly that, zero. Even though the contactor was pulled in. So I wish I would have caught it on camera, but all I did was I touched this and it made contact and the compressor kicked on so i believe we're gonna have a bad contactor right here you can see all the uh the contacts are pretty pitted up that one just started so we'll go over there and give that one a look but uh before we uh we can say that the only thing wrong with this one is a contactor i am going to replace it then we got to check charge uh, fan was running the right way, so uh, let me let's go ahead and go to this one real quick. Just take a look. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that is flashing. So this one's gonna need some refrigerant. So like I said, Jens, these these um these gas stations um they don't allow us to spend a penny over the nta it used to be 500 dollars. i guess after after so many times that we left the sites without fixing them they raised it to 800 so all right so this contactor looks pretty bad also see it right there it's pretty pitted uh, so we're gonna go ahead and replace this one as well um, I'm not sure if I got this on camera
fan's running good, compressor's running. So this one's just low on charge. Uh, we're gonna change that contactor as well. And on that one, we're gonna change that contactor because that contactor, I guarantee you, is bad. And we're gonna see the charge on that one too. So let me go ahead and grab some real quick. Okay, so uh, while we're at it, before we go down to the truck and start grabbing parts, I'm gonna go ahead and test these components right here. So this is a seven and a half microfarad capacitor. I'm just gonna test it off the meter real quick. We got a 6.5 microfarads. So if you read right here, 5%. You can be 5% below 7.5, that's 7.1 something. So uh, this is uh, recommended to be changed. If we can fit it into the NTE, we'll change it. If not, we'll see if we can get approval or, or see how we work this. But this one needs to be changed. Just put it back in for now. Let's go ahead and check this one right here. This is a uh, 35 microfarad. And this is a 145 to 174. So let's go ahead and check these two. All right, guys. So take your wires off. And what I do is I just short it out across each other. Just so you can discharge it. And we're just gonna go straight across the meter again. So we're showing 33 out of a 35. I believe that's good. I'd have to do some math, but I believe that's a good capacitor. Let's go ahead and check this one just for, uh, just for the sake of it. This one has a uh, resistor. Let me put these back just so I don't forget where they go. So this one goes here. This one's outside. See, that capacitor has a resistor on it. Right there. So you can... Uh, Drain it. Go straight across it. 149. And we said it was 145 to 170. So these two capacitors are good. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them. This is the only one we might be able to, we might be changing today. Guys, okay, we got this unit running. Let's check the side glass real quick. and uh, we'll check it again uh, let's go ahead and check the components on that one and uh, we'll bring up some refrigerant this one's bad also on condensing unit number two uh, these two are good so the compressor start component start capacitor that's all good I believe that's the one for the fan so that one's bad so we're just gonna go ahead and change both of these both contactors and um, we're probably gonna have to go downstairs to verify what refrigerant is in this they're more than likely 404 a damn I keep hitting myself on things uh, and usually see it says right here 22 or 404 but it's gonna be 404 so you already know who doesn't want to spend money so we'll go downstairs to the evaporators and just verify it so guys <clears throat> whenever you have a customer that does this doesn't even give you enough space to open up your damn ladder. You gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. Doing it all over that product. I just need to see if it's for. I'm pretty sure it's 404A. I just want to see in that controller right there. So let me see if I can get that. There it is, guys. Uh, the problem that I couldn't get it off of this one right here probably because that's a slave and the master's over there and this is probably the master that's probably the slave probably i'm not sure that's the only thing i can imagine but there it is guys 404a all right guys good news and bad news good news is i have one contactor and one capacitor so i could put these on the unit that was really messed up and the other one I can put it in as a need bid or follow up. But the problem is I don't have any 404, uh, I'm sorry, 404A. So I'm still gonna have to go to the parts house. Got a new capacitor in and uh, we're gonna fire it up. 
Yep. She's running. Let's go ahead and uh, go finish that one. And uh, let's see if we can't get out of here without going over our uh, not to exceed limit. Let me button this one back up. To charge up this system, right? Got it running. Take a look at your head pressure on this thing today. So today's weather is about 75 degrees. Running 404A, we're running at about 138 condensing temp. All right, so we're running high head pressure. Uh, we're having a flashing side glass. Uh, I was about to charge the system up and had some gas. Cause like I said, remember guys, I'm, I'm on a time constraint. I can't go over my NTE whatsoever. So, I, I immediately thought, hey, maybe the Headmaster's bypassing. So I touched the liquid line and it's hot. It's not warm, it's hot. So check this out. All right, let's go in there and take a look at our head pressure control valve. And where is it? There is the control valve. Looks like someone cut it out. I. So this is your discharge. Discharge goes up right there. T's out. No check valves, no nothing. And it T's into your receiver. <laughs> it goes into the condenser up top comes out of the condenser right there that's a liquid line liquid line comes up gets teed into by the discharge line into the receiver Oof. no words gents absolutely no words uh, I just hope that one over there is not the same way um, damn so I can't even charge it up. That's messed up. You know what, let me turn it on and let me see if that hot gas is actually going into the liquid, into the receiver. And, um, but I mean, look, man, we're, we're, it's not even cold outside. And look at the, uh, head pressure was just crazy. So I'm not gonna go in there with a phone and all that. I got a fan going right there. Uh, let me just throw my hand in there and I'll get back to you guys. So I just verified the... Um, uh, let me see, see if I can get in here. This discharge line is definitely bypassing into the receiver. I don't know what somebody's... Uh, um, I don't know. I, I have no words, guys. Somebody removed the, uh, the headmaster and... and didn't know what to pipe so they just piped it I mean I I don't know guys you guys tell me <laughs> I'll see what happens to this one <coughs> we're probably gonna have to submit a quote to install the headmaster cuz yeah let me go to the other one man like I said I'm on a time constraint so let me go to that other one all right guys system number one piped in the same way uh, so I'm not even gonna hook up gauges to this it's the exact same as that one I wonder how they've been working this entire time um, that's it guys I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna close this up we've already finished our electrical uh, let me close this up let me take everything off the roof and uh, I'll get back to you guys this is a uh, this is astounding. I don't know who did that, Ugh. but they deserve an A for effort. All right guys, so we're back in the walk-in. You can still hear the flashing because of the hot gas. Um, I don't believe we're, I don't believe we're low on charge. It might be just the hot gas going straight into the receiver and it's, it's causing problems. Um, 
miraculously we're pulling down in temp um, I was running about 380 head pressure today I don't know how those units survive the summer but uh, we're gonna have to uh, submit a quote to install the headmasters into those two condensing units so this un this uh, room was at a uh, 58 degrees and um, we are dropping so we're gonna call it good guys like I said huge time constraint here um, hopefully they uh, authorize us to to do those headmasters and uh, hopefully I get to do them and uh, I'll make a video on that too guys so that'll be it for now guys thank you guys for watching see you on the next one